front and back there. So after we've done a bunch of those flows, we want to give the audience a chance to pause and appreciate our work, right? So what I do is from back bird, I'll grab Laurie's shoulder, pivot my right foot, toes towards me, get on a second. This is a really deep back bend for her, so you just communicate how deep that is for her, if that goes okay. I'll grab, she'll grab her hands together like that, mm -hmm. and I'll grab the knuckles there and this foot here. And with that leg, she's trying to draw a straight line like a steeple towards the sky. It's very deep in her back, and I'm just drawing this line straight down. So of course you know the fall coming down this way, be mindful of that. If she does, you bend your leg, try to support her back a bit. And she knows to support herself, okay? And that's really deep on the back, so that's fine, though. just keep in mind the foot placement. You want it right on the sacrum, not on the small of the back, right? Okay. So you can do that, and then be mindful of the fall towards the head this way. Yeah. And the last thing I want to draw is, if you can draw the line straight down, it looks nice. And also you can pivot your leg over here and it creates like a, the pupil of the eye. It looks like an eye shape here. Oh, okay. It's yeah. interesting from that, from this angle. Um, so again, demo on your foot. You're flowing through stuff, reverse star, ninja star, four step, whatever. You'll pivot the right foot right on the sacrum, toes in. You'll grab the hands, support it up, the foot, she'll bring it up. Just keep that midline from coming out. Most likely, come out that way. 